everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to the fifth episode of my Minecraft survival series. Thank you so much once again for the support you have been showing for the series thus far. It is super appreciated folks. And don't forget if you want to continue showing your love for the series and you want to continue seeing more then do of course be sure to drop a like rating folks. Now the fan art for today comes from a user by the name of Kyrell Reynolds. And what he did is he actually sketched out not only my own Sun God character but also Chippy's. Chippy's character as well, Chippy's Terraria character. So, uh, Chippy Gaming, if you want to watch this, then there you go, buddy. It's like a dual fan art. It's amazing. I like how there's like a little, like a little slime at the left-hand side of Chippy, and then, then there's that little uh, floating eyeball light pet dude. And also, yeah, I seem to be holding, what is that, a Terra Blade? Ah, oh, it's amazing. It is very, very cool. Now, guys, don't forget, if you want to continue sending in your fan art, the email address is going to be on screen. And once again, can I just stress, please try to involve or include your Twitter and or your YouTube username so I can properly credit you in the description. Because if you haven't noticed already, I have been crediting people in terms of uh, whether they're getting shouted out for fan art of the day or comment question of the video. They're both being shouted out and, uh, you know, links put in the description. So there you go. So like I said, just put your email address not email address, put your uh, Twitter address or your YouTube address in and I'll be sure to go ahead and include it if you get shouted out. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, you saw there what I was doing as I was doing a tiny bit of terraforming. I got rid of the surrounding dirt around this middle pillar here. We will be doing something with this. What exactly is going to be going here? I have no idea just yet. But since the last episode, I've actually done a little bit of work regarding this pathway. And only this pathway. I haven't done too much. But as you can see, the pathway now stretches all the way over here. And uh, this little crop farm area was already here, naturally generated. So what I decided to do is just alter it very, very slightly to, you know, to include the pathway or the fence design going all the way around it as well. And we can actually walk on top of this because we have slabs on top of the water, which is really, really cool. So now we have an easy to access crop farm and not only that but check this out this actually goes into a cave the cave of which we have not actually delved into yet so i imagine we're gonna wind up doing something there in today's episode now I would like to try something out because once again this is a 1.12 snapshot so what we have is concrete blocks, okay? We have concrete sand and, well, it's, no, it's concrete powder, isn't it? It's not concrete sand, it's concrete powder. We've got concrete powder to our disposal and I feel like we should be able to get something going with this. So what I'm going to try and do is get 16 bits of both gravel and sand. So four more bits, three, two, one, and there we go. And all we need now is a little bit of gravel. There is a little bit over here, of course. Uh, in fact, it's everywhere, pretty much. Probably the best place to get gravel is probably going to be underground or in an extreme hills biome. So here we go. Just grabbing ourselves a bunch of this. Again, I want to try and get 16 bits so we can, you know, use it all up in terms of the crafting. So uh, there we go. Let's grab all of this. How much is it? Uh, where's the gravel? Oh, we've got 20. Okay, cool. So... Ladies and gentlemen, what we need to do in order to create the concrete powder, which again is a 1.12 thing. If you're on console, then you probably don't have this yet, nor Pocket Edition. This is a PC thing specifically for now. But uh, yeah, if we go over here, we go over to a crafting table. What we can do is if we can actually go ahead and do this. So this isn't going to create anything, but... What we can do is if we make ourselves some grey dye, which I'm going to do right here. There we go. So we've got some grey dye. If we go ahead and do a little bit of this, as you can see, we have ourselves some grey concrete powder, which is really, really cool. It's a cool looking thing to have. And I'm actually only going to make two sets of this, okay? Uh, the rest of it, I think what I'm going to do real quick. Hold on a minute. If I just get rid of that real quick. I want to make myself some light grey dye as well. So we can give that a go as well. So here we go. Let's just have a look at this. Uh, there we go. And for those of you guys who don't know, you can convert the concrete powder into solid concrete blocks, which is probably going to be about as close as to, the, uh, to a solid colored block that you're going to get. But you can drop these in water and it will transform into regular concrete, which is pretty awesome. But anyways, the, the point of the matter is what I would like to do is I would like to try to come up with some sort of design or something that might work as... A, uh, as an entrance to this cave because I really do feel like it needs to have a proper sort of entrance so maybe what we can do is like Incorporate some of these new blocks. I don't know how this will work uh, I'm not entirely sure that this is going to be the color I want to use though. Maybe something slightly bright. Yeah, that's looking better, isn't it? 
Yeah, I'm liking the brightness of that. Okay, so let's have a little bit of this. And for those of you guys who don't know, this does succumb to gravity as well. So as you can see, it falls down. So essentially, it is dyed sand. It's it's pretty damn cool. I mean, you know, no complaints at all from me or anything like that. So let's have a little bit of this. Maybe we can introduce some uh, some cobblestone into the old texture palette here. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that so far. Okay, so maybe we can get uh, another... Uh, maybe we can have an andesite block there, a little bit of that there, another bit of cobblestone, and then maybe some more andesite, and hmm, what I was thinking of doing here... Uh, ah, we need to replace this as well because, you know, the, the wood won't really match anything, will it? So, let's do that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it succumbs to gravity. I'm a dum-dum. So, we need to go ahead and uh, place down some stuffs. Can we, like, incorporate gravel into the mix? Eh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Can we, uh, can we get away with using a little bit of gravel? I don't know. I really don't see a reason why not. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's looking kind of decent. Yeah, okay, 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 I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty okay with that. Right, where did that andesite go? Oh, uh, andesite, oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, get some doors going here. So I need to go ahead and do a little bit of this. I'll place that down right there. We're gonna get ourselves some, uh, some double doors. The material of which we are going to use... I'm not entirely sure yet. I was, uh, I was reading through the comments on the last episode, and a lot of you guys were saying that what we should do is replace the doors on these villager houses with iron doors to, to make them more secure so zombies can't get in. And that's a really, really cool idea and all, but I kind of like the idea of these guys just being able to roam around. I mean, you know, it's just a, it's just nice being able to see other things roaming around the village aside from me. So, yeah, that's probably why I'm not going to go ahead and do that. All I'm going to do, probably, is just try to make the place a bit more secure. So, yeah, hopefully you get what I mean when I'm saying that, though. So, let's just try and chuck all this stuff away. I can't even do that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what about uh, some stone buttons? So, let's get ourselves some of these. Boom. There we go. Four of those things. Okay, cool. And then we can head back over this way. Uh, in fact, more to the point, it's going to be this way, isn't it? And then we can place these things down, and then everything will be good to go. So, there we go. <sighs> There we go. Ah, the only bad thing is because uh, because of this 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 is designed like this. I can't actually get up here without just having to go up here. It's actually moderately annoying, but pff, oh well. <laughs> I kind of designed it like that on purpose so you know mobs can't get in. All right, so let's get that on and yeah, that's looking pretty decent, isn't it? Okay, so let's get some put on there as well. Yeah, and now, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a, a little bit of a, a thing going here. This is kind of nice. <laughs> Okay, maybe let's put you in there. We'll get rid of the diorite because it does... I, I do agree with uh, Iskal on that point. It does look like bird poo. And, you know, we can't have bird poo in our texture palette. It's just not right, is it? Okay, so, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's just head up here real quick. I want to get this whole wall here uh, slightly redone. So, let's just get rid of these few blocks here. Let's get some uh, cobblestone in the mix. A uh, little bit of gravel and a little bit of that. And that should be the wall pretty much done, right? So, let's just try and jump down there. There we go. And, yeah. Looking pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of thinking, though, maybe there's a bit too many blocks in terms of what we've got going on here. I don't know. Maybe the cobblestone doesn't mix well with it? I don't... I'm not entirely sure just yet. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe you guys will have to leave your responses in the comments area below. But anyways, uh, to, 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 you know, move on to other things to do in the episode, what I would like to do is uh, head down and see what we can find in the cave systems. I mean, we still don't have our first diamond yet, folks, and uh, that's something we should probably rectify as soon as possible because, you know, it's nice having diamonds. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, so we're going to head down here. There's a, there's a spitter. Uh, is there any coal around, like, on the surface? Uh, I mean, there's a little bit here, but I don't really want to get that. Maybe there's some somewhere else, like around here or something. Oh, Carl! You gonna make yourself present to me, buddy? I mean, I'm not seeing any of them. I'm... Dang it. Alright, well, uh... Huh. I think... I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little bit of a look around for coal, okay? Then we're gonna make some torches, and then we're gonna head down into that cave system. I just noticed all the wolves are going after the skeletons again. Oh, I love it. I love it, man. I love it. It's so great. It's so great. Well, guys, if this isn't the most disappointing cave system I've ever come across, I don't know what is. I mean, there's just nothing here. I mean, there's a little bit of iron. I mean, who knows? Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm hearing some zombies. Ah. 
Oh, there may be some things going on here after all. Oh, yeah, there is. I can see you. I see you. Hey there, buddy. Oh, thank you. If it wasn't for you, I would have I would have just completely passed this off as a as a really awful cave system and therefore just would have given up on the whole thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad that there's more stuff going on. Oh, hang on. What the? There's three guys. They all just fell down. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. Get off me. All right. Is there going to be like, a, is there a dungeon around here? If there is actually a dungeon around here, I'm going to be the happiest guy in the world because, of course, we're still looking for a dungeon for a name tag for Mr. Sheeple back at the original base. And talking of him, a lot of you guys were actually saying we should leave him at the original base as kind of like a nostalgia thing. So every time we go back there, it's like, ah, oh, this guy is still looking after my home. <laughs> what a cute guy. All right, well, uh, what have we got going on here? Just a bunch of iron. Okay. I mean, that's totally fine. I mean, no complaints. Or anything like that. I do hear some lava over there. I would like to head up here real quick just to see if there's anything cool going on. I mean, uh, oh! Yeah, that's sod it. I'm taking it down. I'm taking you down! Hey, yeah! Uh -huh. You're going down! Yeah! Come on! I'm not that awful with an axe. Jeez, man! Holy! Alright, come on, boys. Let's get this thing going. All right, there we go. A bunch of coal. Always useful. <laughs> I always feel like coal is one of the most underrated things to get in in, uh, in mining trips. I mean, it's so useful. It's a, it's a furnace fuel. It provides light. I mean, come on, man. you got to be mad to pass it up. You know what I'm saying? Alright, well, uh, let's head up here. Oh, wow. Okay, this cave system sprouts off into many, many areas. Okay, it goes down there. Oh god, it really does. Oh, okay, so that's where the lava is. Man, this cave system is quite odd, isn't it? Alrighty, guys, check it out. We managed to find our first ever redstone of the series, which means we must also be at the very level to find diamonds. So I've got I've got high hopes around this place. I mean, there's a lot of caves around here that are around diamond level. So yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, I've got some high hopes. So here we go. Uh, hey, buddy, you and your little. Little butter shoes. Get off me. Bro. Hey. Alright, so here we go. Let's just uh, move over this way. And I'm hoping to find some of those beautiful blue speckly rocks. You know what I'm saying? Finding some of those bad boys will be amazing. Because it means the start of our epic diamond stuffs. Hey. There's a slime here. Oh. Oh. Is this a slime chunk? Am I a chunk border? I don't know. I don't know if this is a slime chunk or not. We could have something great going on here. Uh, 15. I think we're at a chunk border right now. I'm not entirely sure. I've got to kill these guys first of all. Oh, jeez. There's also a whole lot of witches behind them. Ugh. I'm not entirely sure if, I, um, if I'm going to be enjoying this. Okay, so... Okay, so that's, that's a chunk border. Right there's a chunk border. Well, here's a chunk border. Okay, and 15. And this is also a chunk border. So... Ah. So basically, anywhere within this space, up until the uh, other, you know, chunk border corner, this is possibly a slime chunk. This is awesome. I'm actually really happy about that. I can't believe we managed to find it that quick. Alrighty, guys. I don't know about you, but sometimes I get the diamond tingle. Like, I just feel like there's going to be diamonds around here. It's a big expanse of lava. And there's redstone around, and I've just got that feeling. I really do. But anyways, while we're doing this, my friends, while we're exploring, we'll jump into the comment question of the video, which comes from Carter Smith. I admire you. I always get bored of survival very quickly, and you seem to have endless patience for gathering resources. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the kind comment there, buddy. And uh, yeah, honestly, one of the one of the things I love to do in Minecraft is resource collecting. I find it, I don't know about you guys, but I actually find resource collecting in Minecraft quite therapeutic. Like, if I've had a stressful day, I'll just hop on this game and I'll be like, Hey man, find some diamonds. Even after over six years of playing, I still get really excited with finding diamonds. I don't know, for some reason... Whether it's just me still having a lot of passion for this game, but it's 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 still uh, it still makes me really happy to find diamonds in this game. It really really does. And uh, yeah, just just gathering resources, especially mining. Mining is definitely my favorite thing to do in Minecraft. Uh, you know, just go ahead, just just go down, go down to the mines, find some caves, maybe find some epic stuff, maybe an abandoned mine shaft, get yourself some goodies that way, you know what I'm saying? There's loads and loads of things you can do, and like I said, it, it, it's just one of my favourite things to do, so, 
<laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can ask you guys. What's your favourite thing to do in Minecraft? Leave your leave your response in the comments area below. And, uh, there's a lot of things you can do in Minecraft these days. I mean, the community is so it's it's not split up, but there's a lot of different like sub communities within Minecraft itself. You have got like the survival community, which is what I'm firmly part of. We have got the building community, the mini games community, redstone community. You, you know, you got all them things going on. What is your favorite thing to do in Minecraft. Let me know, guys, because I'm actually quite interested to know. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, my diamond tingling sensation was uh, was was a bit of a bust. There, there was nothing there. I'm a little bit annoyed about that. <laughs> oh, dear. But uh, that's not to say there's not any more cave systems to explore. I mean, look at this. We've got... Oh, there's a witch behind there. Dude, what is it? There's so many witches around it. It's crazy. Hey, buddy. Ha, ha. Oh, there's lapis. Ha. Yeah. Dead. Oh, more glowstone for the Pythonator. Hey, 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 hey. Oi, stop stealing my resources, bro. That's my blooming glowstone. I, I worked very hard to get that. Man. Ooh, look at all the pretty colorful ores, man. Oh, I'm really hoping that there's going to be, like, diamonds attached to this because that would be, like, the icing on the ore cake. I mean, come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Oh, there's a little bit of gold going on up there. Uh, some more iron. I mean, iron is always appreciated. So, there we go. Come on, let there be some diamonds. Ah, oh, nah. No diamonds. Ah, oh, I'm a little bit heartbroken, folks. <laughs> oh, I was thinking we'd be able to get something cool out of that, but, uh, eh, just some gold, redstone, and iron, really. I mean, I mean, they're still kind of cool, but... It's, it's not diamonds, is it? It's not diamonds. Ah, oh, but would you look at that? The Caves of Minecraft have presented me a rose bush. <laughs> oh, just a little something to remind me that the game loves me. Thank you, Minecraft. I appreciate it. I will keep you down here as a little bit of a memento. The gift that Minecraft gave me while caving. <laughs> My first ever caving trip, and it prevent presents me with a flower. I mean, why not, dude? Why not? <laughs> Once again, guys, my diamond sensors are tingling. They're like, they're tingling more than normal. I mean, surely there's got to be some diamonds around here, man. All right, here we go. We're going to obsidianize all of this, and we're going to scan the walls. Okay, we're going to scan the walls in an attempt to try and find ourselves some of those beautiful blue shiny rocks. Our first ever blue shiny rocks of the series. Uh, is there any? Okay, let's have a look at the walls. Oh! Oh, there it is, folks! Diamondos! Hey, look at that! Right, do we have more than one? Is the question. Okay, so that is three. I'm gonna guess that this is a four vein. I'm gonna guess a four vein. It looks like a four vein to me, folks. Oh, kill him! Awesome stuff, folks. We got ourselves our first ever diamonds of the series. Boy, oh boy. I am super hyped and also super relieved as well. Oh, mate, I'm so happy. All right, let's go, boys. Oh, got to pick them up. Got to pick them up. Diamonds! Yay! Python GB has just obtained the achievement. Diamonds! Our man's and the Python's best friend. <laughs> awesome! Hey, man, do you know what? I am super happy about that. Uh, huh. Okay. Uh, what's going on over here? Looks like the lava doesn't stop. Who knows? There may be a second load of diamonds, folks. Uh, well... I mean, I mean, we haven't really got anything to lose if we go ahead and try. Are you kidding me right now? Dude, my diamond sensors are super working right now, dude. <laughs> hey, it only looks like a single diamond, though. Um, huh, okay, right, well, uh, let me just head around here. Who knows? There may be even more. I mean, we found two little diamond veins so far. Uh, uh, I don't think the rule of three is going to apply here, unfortunately. Ah, dang it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have managed to find ourselves another diamond. Whether or not it's more than one is a another question for, uh, for now, I guess. So, here we go. Hey! Get off me. Ha! Yeah! Dead. Oh, he just got destroyed. All right, boys. All right, here we go. So, can we, like, get under that? Oh, no, we can't. It's a singular diamond as well by the looks of it. So here we go. Boom! Five diamonds. I'm actually really glad I've got five diamonds because we can use two of them for an enchanting table. And then we can use the other three to, you know, get the diamond pickaxe in order to mine the obsidian to get the enchanting table. So, actually, 
that's really, really cool. Five diamonds is a perfect amount for, like, a little first outing, if you will. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, on that successful note, it is going to be time to end this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this episode and you are excited to see more, do, of course, be sure to drop a like rating. It'll be super appreciated. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my future content as well. But for now, it is time for me to go. My name is Green Python. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.